<laughs> if you uh, try to see that uh, glass Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. I thought it's time for a homely vlog and not continuing with the travel series. I shall get on that another time. Posting travel videos continuously might be a bit boring, hence this vlog today. Hope you would like it. Keep watching. Now this vlog was again shot here and there. It's been some time I went to my parents home and thought I'll take a video next time I get there. And many of you had been asking about them too. Shooting a complete day is not possible all time. Moreover, most of the time it depends on my mood when to vlog. So it's never pre-planned. I was leaving to my parents home that night. So just a simple recipe prepared for lunch. We have this buttermilk curry we normally prepare most of the time. My husband and kids, especially Rihan, loves it. The best combination to this is Kerala style beef roast. I know there are many of you who doesn't eat beef including me. So you can prepare the same with chicken or mutton. Shallots are the main ingredient for a tasty roast. So please do not substitute it with onions. You might not get the authentic taste. Crush ginger, garlic and shallots. In an iron kadai, pour some coconut oil, add the paste. Then goes in Kashmiri red chilli powder, normal red chilli powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder, garam masala powder, black pepper powder and salt. Give a good mix. Now place this on medium heat and cook. The raw smell of all ingredients need to be gone. If you feel the mix is getting dry or sticking to the bottom, pour a bit more of oil and roast well till the color changes. That's done. Turn off the flame. Pour a cup of water and mix. Add the beef pieces to a pressure cooker. Add the mix to the cooker. Adding little more of water to the kadai and pour it to the cooker. Mix everything really well. That's some curry leaves and I love to add with the stem which has lots of flavor in it. Mine is anyway organic so I can add it guilt free. Cover the cooker, lock the pressure and place on high flame. After the first whistle, reduce the flame to low and cook for 20 minutes. Adding cocktail pieces will add more taste to the dish, be it with chicken or mutton either. This looks a bit scary the way I am taking out the flesh but that's the only way I know. Heat some coconut oil and fry the coconut pieces, adding some curry leaves and dried red chilies.
Once the pressure is all released, open the cooker, add the fried ingredients along with the oil. Now there will be enough liquid in this, so it needs to get evaporated to get that roast consistency. I transfer the whole thing into a bigger iron kadai so that it tastes better and it's easier to mix when in this. Me and my husband, we both had workouts to be done in the evening. Mine is online and he goes to the club to play badminton. As we anyway have early dinner, including kids, I ask mom not to prepare anything for us as we will be reaching home late after workouts. And it was way too late. I guess it was almost 11 pm the time we reached my parents' home. My father was asleep already. The next day was really exciting for him. I'll tell you that in a minute. But my mom, my brother and sister-in-law Chinu were away. The first thing I love to do when I reach here is to check out all the jars and pots to see what's inside. I go out of control when I'm here because my mom keeps talk of snacks as soon as she hears we are coming. The snacks are kept for kids but it's me who grab all the jars to check what's in. And my mom has this beautiful collection which I might steal one day. I love these clip-on jars. It's very old stock but very pretty. I don't know from where mom got it. My morning ritual is having a glass of warm water and some fruit. Usually it's steamed banana. Unfortunately, there was no fruits, so I had some mixed nuts which is also fine. The Damad or the son-in-law is treated with lots of respect in our place. Me and my co-sisters, we are really blessed to get the same respect from our in-laws. I badly wish it's the same in every household. Unfortunately, in real, it's not. We hear a lot of stories on how badly the daughters-in-law are treated and it's really pathetic and brutal sometimes. At least let's make our future better. I always say to my friends, only a good mother can make another good mother and only a good mother-in-law can make another good mother-in-law. It's the attitude and behavior we pass on to the next generation. So be kind to anyone who has come from another family into your house, leaving all their belongings. Be it your daughter-in-law, be it your sister-in-law or brother-in-law or son-in-law, be it any gender of course. They have the right to be treated well when they have left so much just to be in our house accept the way they are. They have come from a different background. They might have not grown up in the same lifestyle you have been raised. So just let them be themselves and you don't have to change either. If we try to change someone else, that will lead to frustrations and ego in the family. So let that not happen. Life is an adjustment not just from the other side. It begins from oneself and slowly we understand each other. Then life goes in a smoother manner.
lots of food preparations were going on as i said earlier it was an exciting day for my father my father and my uncles were leaving this day for a trip to delhi so i went home the previous day so that we could send them off they all are from my mom's family my mom's brother her sister's husbands and my father they were a total of six their train was at 2 pm and the station is an hour away from our location Everyone will be gathering at my uncle's house that's my mom's brother's house they will be having lunch together before getting out so we had our breakfast from here and straight went to my uncle's house And here we are at my uncle's house. Not all my aunts had come because they had other engagements at home. As we stay very near, we all came to see them leaving for the trip. They had their early lunch so that they don't have to stop at any restaurants on the way. I could feel that energy and a smile on their face. They all are really excited about this trip and seeing this, we felt good. They had been planning for this trip from a very long time but every time there would be some of the other hindrances finally they made it They are still in Delhi and roaming around having great time I shall share some pics here It feels really lovely to see them enjoying even at this age with full of energy and strength. May God bless them all. So that's all for today's video. We had actually come back to our home on the same night. Staying for more days will be quite difficult for me due to other engagements we have at home. So I couldn't film a complete day from my parents home properly. Shall get back for sure next time I go there again. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned for more. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.